Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, this week, we are going to be thinking and talking about an invitation to pain and death. How's that sound? An invitation. You know, hey, I'd like to invite you. What, what are you inviting me to? Pain and death. Well, that's what this passage talks about. In Proverbs chapter 9, we'll look at verses 13 through 18. Folly is an unruly woman. She is simple and knows nothing. She sits at the door of her house on a seat in the highest point of the city, calling out to those who pass by who will go straight on their way. Let all who are simple come to my house. To those who have no sense, she says, stolen water is sweet. Food eaten in secret is delicious. But little do they know that the dead are there, that her guests are deep in the realm of the dead. What's this passage saying? It personifies Foolishness as a, as a woman, as a female character. Now understand the book of Proverbs doesn't mean selective. It also personifies wisdom as a wise woman crying out and calling for our attention. And so it's just to give us a picture. And so this picture is foolishness, folly, calling out from the towers, from the street corners, and inviting people in. What are they invite, what's the foolishness inviting us to? It says, you know, if you're simple, come by my house. If you have no sense, come on over, because stolen water is sweet. Food eaten in secret is delicious. But they don't know that her home is a place of death. Foolishness cries out to you and to me. Come on in. It's going to be great. Jump in. Whatever the behavior is, the activity, the attitude that can possess your mind, folly invites us in knowing it leads to death, but we have to recognize that. So a couple of thoughts. There's foolish voices that call out to you, that call out to me. In your, if you're a student in your school settings, there's going to be some foolish voices, friends at school, even sometimes faculty at school. There may be some folly there. In your workplace, in your neighborhood, there's lots of places you go and there can be voices inviting you into that which is foolish. Be aware of that. And as you go about your day, these are just kind of normal voices in the course of a day, but recognize and say, is that a voice of wisdom or is that a voice of folly? Is that from God or is that from the enemy? But understand also, we see this in verse 18 of this passage, there's always consequences to us following the voices that speak to us. And those consequences tend to be bigger than we think they're going to be, especially when it comes to folly and making bad choices and heading into the wrong places. And so here's the encouragement. Learn to identify the voices speaking to you. I don't mean the person. Oh, that that voice is my neighbor's voice. That voice is my friend's voice. That voice, but recognize the voice behind the voice. Is this the voice of wisdom or is this the voice of folly? We have both of those voices in our lives all the time. We even have some people in our lives who will speak wisdom at some times and folly at other times. So learn to distinguish that and recognize folly and then stop and say, do I want to take the invitation to death, to pain, to struggle? No, I don't. Then I'm going to block out that voice. I'm not going to listen to it. I'm not going to adhere to what that voice is saying to me. And all the voices around us, it's our responsibility to recognize, is this wisdom or is this folly? And when it's folly, learn to block it out. Don't walk down that road. Jesus, this is our prayer. As many people will talk to us this very day, right now, today. And some of those voices are great, have great wisdom. And some are really from the realms of folly. Some are inviting us to hurt ourselves and to a pathway to death. Help us hear closely, think deeply discern carefully, and say yes to life and wisdom and no to folly. Give us that wisdom and the strength to walk in your ways, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, blessings on you as you live out this day. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll see you in worship online or in person at 9 or 11. If you're part of another church, be an active part of your church, pray for your church, and get involved with God's people. Blessings. Have a great rest of your week.